What is up everybody? This is John with Archer Fish. Just a quick video, because they keep stocking trout at Lake Castaic and the weather's been good, this is a great time to get out there and try to catch some striper. People are asking me how to catch them. There's a lot of different ways to catch striper at Castaic, but right now I would imagine the most fun, uh, the most effective, and possibly the best way to catch a big striper would be with a swim bait. Now I did swim bait videos before, uh, what kind of gear to use, all that stuff. You can see that video here. Um, but anyway, or here. <laughs> anyway, um, so get yourself some swim baits because right now, because they keep stocking the trout, that is a good way to catch giant striper and also giant bass. If, as long as the weather's good, you, you, you know, the giant bass will be coming up for those too. So I've got two with me here. Obviously the Huddleston, which I've showed you before, but I also the, uh, the BBZ uh, Spro right here is an awesome uh, swim bait for um, striper right now. This thing, you know, the segments and stuff, it gives it a great swimming motion. This is a kind of slow sinking one, which looks really good in the water. And you wanna cast it to either towards shore uh, most of the time, uh, and then just kind of reel it back to you, kind of at a slow, constant reel, so it just kind of swims through the water, depending on the type of lure you have. I also have this little mini um, HUD right here, this little uh, baby trout swim bait. Uh, I don't know, this might be a little too small. I think uh, you want something more like an eight incher, um, but this one isn't bad as well. It's got a great action in the water, just like the little mini, the little mini um, HUD. But anyway, that's not a bad bait right there. Other ways to catch striper right now, uh, and make sure you have the right gear, you've got strong enough line. Uh, if you haven't seen my video where I caught one on, this, I think it's like eight pound test, and it was a nice eight to 10 pounder, maybe maybe around there. Um, it was a, a, a great fight, and you don't want to, you know, fight them for 10 minutes like that, like I did. I just, you know, I wasn't sure what, was, what I was catching, if it was bass or striper or whatever, but typically I don't like to, you know, fight a fish for that long. It's all about uh, respecting the fish. I'm going to get into that more as well. So uh, another uh, another way to catch them right now, obviously, like I, I caught mine on a big fluke. Um, you know, the Zoom Super Fluke on the surface, you know, if they're boiling or you see birds attacking the surface and stuff like that. Um, a lot of guys are just kind of like if you rent a boat, go along the bank uh, right as you get into Castaic on the ramp over to the right. Just go down that entire bank uh, because that is a very uh, busy striper area anyway, even when the lake was uh, up. So right now, you know, uh, cast towards shore with your big swim baits uh, or your flukes uh, or your top water and just work it back to the boat. Even in the rental, you can do it as long as it's not too windy out there and just and just you know hit that whole entire bank all the way up and then just do some of the points that are near the ramp, um, the main lake point straight out. Uh, from when you, you know, leave the ramp and the marina straight out, that main lake point is excellent. Um, start there and work your way to the left of it and all the way up that those 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 points there. If nothing's going on, you know, head to the other side. Uh, the key to the striper thing is just kind of finding them. I know that may sound simple, but that's why you want to start in the marina because they keep planting the trout. It's going to bring those striper in there and it's been weeks and weeks now of trout plants, which is amazing. So fish that marina, you know, fish it hard. There's, it's going to be a lot of people in there and, and you know, whatever, but everyone's out there trying to do the same thing. All right. So we got swim baits. We've got um, flukes, also spoons, big spoons, cast masters, stuff like that. Um, you throw those and, and let them sink down and, and pop them up and stuff like that. Also a great way to catch them. If you do have a boat and you do have um, a sonar, you know, you can, uh, you know, map them, you figure out what mark them, mark where the fish are and just go straight down with your big spoon or cast master, pop it up, pop it up. I caught a, a couple of decent ones at Pyramid. I think it was last, a uh, year before last with Jim by doing that. We would mark them on the screen and I would just drop right down with a, a cast master, probably like this big and just keep popping it up until I got bit. So with the cast master, what I've noticed is you want to make sure it, it sinks as far down as you can and then pop it up, pop it up, pop it up. So, uh, yeah, you want to let those sink. Um, the fluke, you can do surface. But anyway, then there's top water. I like to throw the big old Lucky Craft gunfish with the little tail on it. I like the IMA uh, skimmer uh, that works really well, uh, too. Uh, the lunker punker, things like that. Things that are going to just dance across the surface. And again, same thing. 
you're in the rental boat, cast towards shore, work it back and, and start at the shores that are near the marina and work your way away from there. Um, you're gonna have the best chance of catching them. Another great way to catch them, at least as far as effectiveness, is the fly core trolling. Um, obviously you can't really do that in a rental boat because you need to have both hands on your rod and reel. And if you've seen some of the guys out there that do that, they're very, very good at it. And again, with that, you know, they're marking them on their sonar um, as far as what depth they're at. Let's say they're at 30, 40 feet, and then they're dropping their fly core line. The thing with the fly core line is um, each one, each segment of line is a different color, and that tells you how deep you are. So if they're 30, 40 feet, you want to do three or four segments down. Uh, there's guys that know how to do that a lot better than I do. In fact, Jim does. Jim Taibbi, my buddy. Uh, so go out with Jim. He'll put you on some fly core fish too. He knows how to do it. Um, here's the other thing. So those are the best ways to catch striper right now, in my opinion. Okay. Also, um, uh, bait. You can uh, get some uh, cut sardines. I think is what they what they got there. Sardines or the herring or whatever it is that they have at the uh, the bait shop there at Castaic. You cut yourself a little piece of that. Drop it down with a, you know, with a heavy weight, maybe two, three ounce weight, uh, like the egg weight, um, and, uh, and, you know, and just sink it down there, uh, 30 to 40 feet off of these points, off of these places where you think they might be. Um, and, you know, people catch them like that all the time off the dam, you know, you can, you can bait fish off the dam all day long. Uh, and you don't have to be right up inside the marina. You can go a little bit further down to kind of avoid the crowds and you can catch them on the bait too. I've caught them on bait there. Um, and it's just as fun because you have no idea the size of that fish and uh, just make sure you're ready with uh, some heavy gear. Uh, I prefer uh, a medium, medium heavy. Uh, if you're doing the, the big swim baits, obviously you want a heavy rod um, and, a, and, a, and a really heavy uh, setup as far as the reel goes. Um, I've also used a little bit lighter stuff with just like braid, you know, like uh, probably, uh, let's see, 15 pound braid and then like a 20 to, or 30 pound liter of either fluoro or uh, mono. Um, and that's if, mostly if you're bait fishing or top water. Top water, I would use my um, medium heavy uh, rod with a, let's see, 3,500 spinning uh, uh, reel with maybe 10 to 12 pound uh, fluoro on there. Um, and that's really all you need, even for like the bigger fish, you know, you're not going to break off on those, um, as long as you're fighting them correctly and your drag's okay. <laughs>